And here we are at the beautiful Glen Club in Glenview as we look ahead now to the PGA Championship, uh, the last of the majors and kind of the lost major. Yeah, it was always the fourth major, you know, kind of got lost in the shuffle late in the year. Uh, you know, I don't know that kids go into bed dreaming of winning the PGA Championship. Here's a putt to win the PGA Championship. They'll say that about the Masters or the U.S. Open, not necessarily the PGA Championship. How do you writers feel about uh, covering the PGA? Well, we always used to go into this tournament. We were all kind of written out. We all asked all the questions. The players were all kind of talked out. It seems like all the storylines had been written. It was a little bit tough to get up for this tournament covering it when I was on a full-time basis. Of course, last year the PGA was, you know, in our own backyard at Whistling Straits up in Wisconsin. So that was kind of fun. It was intriguing. Uh, it's in Atlanta this year. The great thing about the PGA Championship, maybe the underrated thing about the PGA Championship, is that a lot of great finishes. It really is a great tournament almost every year. Last year we had the playoff uh, with Bub Bubba Watson and Martin Keimer. We had the old Dustin Johnson thing. A couple of years ago we had Y.E. Yang beating Tiger Woods. A lot of great finishes. Tiger May and Bob May, the all, one of the great majors of all time. So PGA usually does deliver a lot of drama at the end of the tournament. Well, we have somebody hit out of a sand trap that they didn't think <laughs> not, it was a not sand trap. <laughs> not in Atlanta this year. You know, the, the PGA, it, it is a major, and histories are made in the major. So these players want to win the PGA Championship just as much as they want to win the British Open, U.S. Open, and the Masters.